What's going on, people? It's your man, the Wheel Bananas. Double the pleasure, double the gun. Okay. This is a post commentary, as you can see down below, or whatever. Um, I don't know. This is a Killing Floor 2 video, and uh, I'm using my favorite class, the Gunslinger, even though it's really, really underpowered, but I think I have to get the rank 15. Um, I haven't been on PlayStation in a while because work's been kicking my ass. Uh, you know, I've been, I got the new Destiny. I been playing Rainbow Six Siege on Xbox. Been playing everything, and I really wish you could stream on Xbox to YouTube, but I don't know how to do it. And it really, really frustrates me because I have some good gameplays of Rainbow Six Siege. I have some good gameplays of Destiny 2, and I bought Fortnite. But, uh, yeah, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about everyone's favorite first-person shooter, Call of Duty. And I will be discussing World War II this year. So, to start things off, DO NOT BUY CALL OF DUTY WORLD WAR II. I'm telling you, just save your money. I'm probably just gonna buy it because of the zombies and the multiplayer and the single player and to do YouTube videos and that sounds really really contradictory but I'm telling you don't listen to me because I want to do it because I want to push out YouTube videos I want to push out content I want to push out anything I don't care okay I will happily spend sixty dollars on a piece of shit game but I don't want anyone else to because it's a waste of sixty dollars, but I sound really contradictory, and I I, I don't care. Cause it's the same game as Advanced Warfare, without the EXO movement. You know, the double jump, double dash, double this, double that, whatever. But I will say that I think Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is my favorite Call of Duty all. My second favorite, behind Modern Warfare 2, obviously. Uh, my fi it's my favorite Call of Duty because it had really good zombies, it had really good multiplayer, and the reason why I like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare so much is because it was the first game to introduce EXO Move, and they did it fucking perfect. You know why? Because all you had to do was press press the X button twice to double jump, the movement was solid, the guns were, eh, okay. But you're getting the same guns as you are in Advanced Warfare as you are in, in World War II. Uh, the MP40, the STG, the, uh, the fucking side gun where you can throw the clip on the side, those are all guns that are going to be in World War II. Now, Reason why I do not want, I don't want to buy a Call of Duty World War II, but I probably will end up getting it because all my friends are gonna get it, and I, I need more games to play with my friends. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll probably end up doing it, but it's just, why would you do a World War II game when there's been countless Call of Duties that have had World War II? And it's gonna be the same guns. Now I know what you're thinking. Of course, Dual Wheel Bananas, it's gonna be the same guns because those are the only guns that are in World War II. And for that, I say kind of bullshit because there was there was way more guns than the STG, the MP40, the Thompson, the M1 Grand. There was way the Americans had about 50 guns on each side. But I don't know. But. The reason why, another reason why I think Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was my one of my favorite Call of Duties is, is because the zombies was really good. Um, it, you, you had EXO movement in the zombies, and some of the zombies had EXO movement too. It was challenging, it was fun. The maps kind of sucked, but hey, it's a Call of Duty. For what it was worth, um... I, I just really think that Call of Duty was the best. I might end up downloading it again and say, fuck World War II. Uh, a third reason why you should not buy World War II is because they are they're rewriting history. 
They're censoring the Nazi symbols, which was a big fucking part of World War II. There's black female soldiers. There's black male soldiers. Um, I don't know who's their uh, history director down at uh, Sledgehammer Games, but there was like barely any... Um, what do I want to say? It was basically like 95% white. I mean, sure, there was there was black soldiers and uh, Indian soldiers and whatever you know, race. All all races were in World War II, but it was basic basically all European men and American men and Chinese men and it's just. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to forewarn you guys because I feel like it would just be a big ripoff. You know, everybody gets hyped for call. Everybody, everybody gets hyped for the next Call of Duty. Oh, this Call of Duty is gonna be awesome. This Call of Duty is gonna be this. This Call of Duty is gonna be that. And then you get the fucking game, and then it, it turns out to be the same as last year. And then you get a bunch of YouTube videos saying. What WTF is this? Why is this Call of Duty? This isn't Call of Duty. This is something else. I'm just trying to save you guys money, okay? Uh, another reason why I like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was because of the gun. You, know? you, you had the BOW 27. Oh, favorite gun ever. I used to rock that with the thermoscope <laughs> and the nuke too. I used to, I used to cross map motherfuckers. I used to shoot them with the thermoscope, and then if I didn't finish the kill, I'd do it. There's a lot of variety in that game. There is grenade launchers on assault rifles, there's grips, there's silencers, there's red dogs, there's a lot of SMGs, um, there's a lot of assault rifles, there's, there's cool, cool ass heavy guns, like the EM-1, the laser gun. There's weapon variants. There's probably gonna be what there's probably gonna be weapon variants in World War II. But in Advanced Warfare, it was it was kinda like the first futuristic um Call of Duty. Okay? Um besides Black Ops 2, that was kinda set in the future, but it was like more modernized. I know it was set in like 2025 or whatever. And there was like made up guns, like PDW was made up, I know that. Um, the Peacekeeper was made a made-up gun, but Advanced Warfare was kind of a step above Black Ops 2 because of the exo move. And it had a simple mechanic, you know? You press X twice to double jump. You press X once and forward to dash this way, dash backwards, dash this way. And you had all of this stuff in Zombies. You had all of this stuff in single player, even though single player, nah, I don't really care for that. It, it was challenging. There was a bunch of red dot sites that you could use. There was the BOW 27, the ASM-1, obviously, everybody used that fucking gun. The KF-5 was my favorite SMG, because it was kind of like the ASM-1 with a different recoil pattern and a better fire rate and like better damage or something. Uh, you had dual SMGs where you can two-wheel them. You had a five-round burst SMG. You had a four-round burst assault rifle, three-round burst assault rifle. Um, you had a Magnum. I remember that. Uh, you had a crossbow if you wanted to, you know, screw around or whatever. Um, just overall, I, re I think that Advanced Warfare was my favorite Call of Duty. And if they really, really, really wanted to up their game this year and say, all right, guys, look, we fucked up with Infinite Warfare. That, that game's shit. So we're going to try and revolutionize this year. You know, we're going to bring Call of Duty back to its roots. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. They should remaster Modern Warfare 2 with all of the bugs and glitches and shit like that gone. You know, the UMP-45 damage when you equip a silencer should go down to 30. That way it makes it a four-hit kill. 
Uh, the MG4, the M240, and the M9, when you attach a silencer, it doesn't fucking matter because you're still up here on the radar. Uh, one man army, cold blooded, ninja pro, one man army, danger close, infinite new tubes. Uh, they should fix the scavenger glitch. They should uh, nerf and buff damage on weapons. Um, I, I don't know. But it, they really wanted to sell all of Duty this year. And they really, really cared about customers. They would remaster Modern Warfare 2. But I know why they won't remaster Modern Warfare 2. It's because COD 4 came out in 2007. And I guess in order I guess in order to remaster a game, you have to have it ten years later to remaster it. So we'll probably see a Modern Warfare 2 remaster in 2019. I fucking pray to Jesus and Ishmu and Allah and whoever your religious is, religion is, that they do, that they fix these glitches. And I really hope Treyarch does not make another game because they're, they they sell Black Ops 3 as their final game. But I guarantee you they will pull out some fucking surprise next year. Or the year after. Or and uh what else? Oh! The 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 TAC knife commando. They should fix the range on that. They could do that. Uh I, I'm telling I if they really wanted to do it this year, they really needed them to remodel Master Modern Warfare 2. That's what everybody wanted. But I I bet you they're not going to do it this year because it takes 10 years to remaster a fucking game. I'm just I'm just trying to forewarn you guys. I just don't want you to spend that money. You don't have to listen to me. You can buy it. I know I'm buying it because I'm going to probably push out as much YouTube content as possible on that game. And a couple of my friends are downloading it on PS4, and they're buying it day one. I'm not gonna buy it day one. I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna wait till some reviews come out and see how it is, and then I'll probably get it. Now, granted, World War II is my favorite war out of anything because of the guns, the airplanes, the factions, and stuff. I just. I just really, really don't want to waste another 60... Well, actually, $110, because you buy, I gotta buy the season pass. I just don't want to waste another... Another $60 on a motherfucking Activision title. And they just keep yanking your chain and playing with your balls and fingering your anus for your money. Fuck you, give me money. <laughs> That's an Angry Joe show reference. If you've ever seen Angry Joe, shout out to him. Whatever. Um, I, I don't know. I'm very exhausted. I just had to get this off my mind. Uh, just to wrap things up, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was a really, was one of my favorite Call of Duties of all time. Uh, I like the movement, I like the weapons, I like the attachments. I like the kill streaks, they were pretty good too. The zombies was really, really good. Uh, if they really wanted to up their game this year on Call of Duty, they would have definitely remastered it. With all the glitches. But I guarantee if they remastered Modern Warfare 2, you gotta pay an extra 10 bucks to play glitch free or some shit. But uh, yeah, that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's, I'm sorry I had to get this out of me. It's just been bugging me for a really long time. I really wanted to make a video about this. And uh,. I guess I'm gonna go lay down because it's about 10 o'clock and I have work at 9 in the morning tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the gameplay and I hope you guys have a good day. Stay strong.
alive out there. A good instinct. Bring up the trading controls and upgrade your gear. out of time. Make your choices. Glad you made it back. Don't bleed on anything. Hurry up. Zed are getting closer.
Greg is never easy, but you did it well. Almost up. Feet 